Can mushrooms actually help to fade hyperpigmentation or is this just another trendy ingredient and marketing ploy for you to spend your hard earned coins? Let's actually dig into the science guys to see whether or not this is a trend that you should hop on or one that you should hop away from. For anyone new here, hello, my name is Alexis. I'm a board certified dermatologist. I have a background in cosmetic chemistry and on this channel, we take deep dives into ingredients and that's just what we're going to do today. For any of my OG subscribers, hi guys and welcome Welcome back. All right, so let's go ahead and take a deep dive into mushrooms and whether or not they actually can fade hyperpigmentation. There's been a new big spotlight on mushrooms and its ability to fight hyperpigmentation, whether that is sunspots or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation like what follows acne or even melasma. So let's see whether or not any of these claims are actually substantiated by looking into the science. So as you can see, there's a plethora of research surrounding the mushroom derivative kojic acid, but what about the others? So guys, as you can see from the different studies that I'm popping up here on the screen, there's actually multiple studies dating back to the 1984s that show that actually mushrooms can indeed help fade and not only fade, but prevent hyperpigmentation from occurring. These are things that actually were found like most things on accident. So you know how white paper comes from a brown wood tree? This is because of something called lignin. Now lignin, Peroxidase actually can break down that wood pulp and turn it into white paper. So this was found on accident because lignin is actually very similar to melanin. And because they are so structurally similar, some brilliant scientists said, let me see whether or not lignin peroxidase would actually help to degrade melanin pigmentation. And guess what guys, it does. So since the 1984s, we've actually known about this and it's just now kind of becoming more popular in skincare products. Now there are multiple different lignin peroxidase sources, but we're gonna focus on just one. And it's gonna be the lignin peroxidase that comes from the shiitake mushroom. Now all lignin peroxidase are not created equally and all mushroom extracts are not created equally. So I am going to talk about one specifically that has been proven to be effective and it is the Biosant Squalene Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. Big shout out to Biosans for partnering with me on this video so that I can bring you guys the tea on this product. And as always guys, whether I've partnered with a company or not, I'm always gonna give you 100% my true opinion and present you with the data and the facts on the product. Even if that means that I get banned from the PR list from here on out. I always want you to ask yourself, five questions before considering adding any product to your skincare regimen. The first question being, what is the purpose of this product? What can this product actually do for me? Is this product actually going to specifically benefit me and my skincare needs? And then you can better answer the second question, which is, do I actually need this product? Thirdly, I want you to ask yourself, where does this product actually fit into my regimen? That way you can determine if you're already using a product that's doing similar things with similar ingredients, or if you can swap the product out. You never wanna to use too many products, guys. The fourth question, which I will always answer for you, as you know, is does this product actually work? Is there any scientific evidence backing up these ingredients or is it just a trendy foo-foo product? And then the fifth question I want you to ask yourself is, is this sustainable for me? Does this fit my lifestyle and my budget? If the answer to any of those questions is no or I don't know, I want you to double think about purchasing it, step away from the mouse, don't push add to cart and let's re-evaluate. All right, so now that you know the five questions you should always ask yourself, let's go ahead and jump into number one. So what is the purpose of this particular product? So the purpose of this particular product is to help to fade hyperpigmentation that's currently on the skin while preventing new hyperpigmentation from ever forming and brightening the skin at the same time. 
I love this in its approach to hyperpigmentation because up till this point, we've pretty much only talked about sunscreen as being your prevention of hyperpigmentation. So we now have active ingredients that are scientifically proven to help to prevent hyperpigmentation. You guys know I was very excited about that. And then moving on to question number two, do I actually need this product? Do you currently have hyperpigmentation? Do you have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation like from acne scars? Do you have spots on the skin from sun damage? Do you have melasma? And are you already using products that help to both treat and prevent hyperpigmentation from occurring? The next question I want you to ask yourself is where will this product actually fit into my regimen? Are you already using a very similar product? Even if you are using a similar product, are you seeing adequate results from that product? Have you used the product long enough to even determine whether or not you're seeing adequate results? Make sure that you're not using too many active guys and you definitely don't want to use too many of the same actives. This way you can make sure that your wallet stays protected and your skin stays protected all at the same time. Now, the fourth question, which for me is the most important question you should be asking yourself is, does this product actually work? How does it work? Where is the evidence? Is it actually clinically based, scientifically backed ingredients, or is this a bunch of trendy foo-foo? Let's talk about that one. So the Biosance Squalene Dark Spot Serum is a powerhouse, guys. The white shiitake mushroom extract that's in here is really the main star ingredient of this serum. It works on hyperpigmentation in a few different ways. So it does work on that melanogenesis pathway or that pigment producing pathway as a tyrosinase inhibitor, right? So it is inhibiting pigment in that main rate limiting step that we all know from my previous videos. But on top of that, it works in the epidermis. So it's changing eumelanin, which is darker pigment over to pheomelanin, which is a lighter pigment through oxidation. Now that is why it is working so incredibly fast. It's got antioxidant properties, anti-inflammatory properties, anti-aging properties, antimicrobial properties, and anti-tyrosinase inhibitor properties, guys. You see why I love this white shiitake mushroom so much and I had to tell you about it. And of course, as the name suggests, there is vitamin C working synergistically along with that white shiitake mushroom. It's actually a very water stable ethyl ascorbic acid vitamin C that is non irritating, which we all know I love because irritation leads to inflammation, which leads to more hyperpigmentation. So, this is clinically proven and extremely effective without the irritation. On top of that, there is a licorice root extract in here, guys. Now, that's very calming to the skin and it also helps to diminish and fade hyperpigmentation. This is a superstar lineup and that is why I had to tell you guys about it. I personally find that this product will be ideal for anyone who is fighting hyperpigmentation and anti-aging at the same time. So that vitamin C is gonna boost your collagen production, which of course is super vital in any type of anti-aging regimen. On top of that, it gives you that immediate skin brightening effect that vitamin C does and allows you to treat your hyperpigmentation and prevent future hyperpigmentation. One of the first giveaways of your age is an uneven skin tone. Younger age is almost always associated with more vibrant and radiant looking skin. I also find that this is gonna be very helpful for anyone who has hyperpigmentation and acne because of those antimicrobial effects of the white shiitake mushroom extract. Additionally, I think this is gonna be ideal for anyone with sensitive skin because of that stability of the ethyl ascorbic acid, in addition to the fact that white shiitake mushroom and licorice root extract are very effective yet gentle ways to treat hyperpigmentation, and this is a fragrance-free product, I think this would be amazing for anyone with sensitive skin. You, of course, should patch test. 10% of vitamin C can still be somewhat irritating for some people, so start with the patch test, but I do think this is a good way to go. And of course, as with every Every product in the Biosense skincare line, you have that superstar hero ingredient with that sugar cane derived 
squalling. I love the formulation of this serum. It's super lightweight and it's very silky. It's hydrating without being overly occlusive. You can put on your makeup, you can put on your sunscreen without any problem and there's no peeling that's involved with the serum. Now I definitely always want you guys asking yourself whether or not a product is sustainable for you. Do you have the coins to continue to support purchasing a product? This is important because dark spots will continue to come, right? As we continue to have birthdays and we continue to have sun exposure, no matter how good you are about your sunscreen, you're still going to be prone to hyperpigmentation. So is this a product you can continue to go with? It's $62, so it's definitely something for you guys to consider. All right, I hope that this was helpful for you guys and it shed a little bit of light on whether or not mushrooms can actually help to fade hyperpigmentation if this new ingredient that's now popping up all over the place is worth your hard earned coins. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also guys, make sure you write down below what you want me to talk about next. I always make the videos that you guys are requesting the most. So if you see something someone else likes, please give it a heart or thumbs up or just write down below what you want me to talk about. All right guys, until next time, be well.